This video is aimed at animators who, for one reason or another, have to render their animation in Arnold for Maya, and they want to render it out quickly and possibly without too much noise and without fireflies in the scene, so that they can deliver an animation that looks a bit better thanks to the render, but maybe they don't have access to render farms or expensive machines. Sometimes you need to render out your animation and you need a render just to make it look a bit nicer, but you're not very focused on getting the render to look super nice. Although it always helps if the render looks looks decent, right? Sometimes you're also stuck with render engines that are less than efficient in rendering animation frames quickly. Maybe you are in a situation from which you cannot benefit from rendering in Blender's Eve because the company or the school you're working with prefers to render in Arnold for Maya and maybe you're not familiar with game engines like Unreal Engine so you cannot really benefit from real-time render from there. Or maybe you, your school, the place you work in prefers not to switch to a Redshift license to benefit from GPU assist rendering, in which case your go-to solution would be Arnold for Maya. It comes free with Maya, so a lot of companies just rely on that, despite maybe the benefits of other platforms. The issue with Arnold for Maya is that unless you have a powerful computer or a render farm available, it might become time consuming to render out noise free frame sequences, especially in low light conditions like those you see in this scene which I prepared for the demo. The character you see in this scene is the freely available Naked Rig from characterrigs.com. When we render a scene like this with the default settings of Arnold in Maya, this is usually what we get. At the current resolution of 960 by 5 540, the render takes about one minute and depending on the lines you use you might get these nice bright spots which are going of course to change position depending on the frame so they're going to create a very visible noise in your scene which we probably want to get rid of. These artifacts are called fireflies and they add on top of the already present noise which you can see in most of the render engines nowadays. So in this video we are going to see how to get rid of fireflies and most of the noise in Arnold while keeping render time low at the cost of a bit of color range. To do that we will first identify the source of the fireflies and the noise and explore several approaches to improve on this issue. Current render time is 59 seconds or about one minute and you see that the result isn't great. So we probably want to find a way to render in this amount of time and maybe even faster that would be better and without these render issues. The scene is composed by three area lights, a key, a field and a rim and area lights they tend to be fairly expensive in terms of render time but I don't think they are the problems in this case. And then we have a point light which is here in front of the girl. Point lights in Maya aren't Arnold Natives lights so you can expect in my opinion some additional issues because if you go into the Arnold section and you go lights you will see that the point light isn't even there. Now we know the structure of the scene, the render settings are the default render settings you would find in Arnold for Maya. If we check the render once more we will see that these little specks of light they actually change position between frames so this is going to be very difficult to denoise in post if you think of it. Those little hot spots are called fireflies in the jargon. So let's see a few techniques to get rid of those and maybe speed up the render. First of all in the render settings we could go into the adaptive sampling and enable adaptive sampling. Adaptive sampling will try to give more attention to problematic areas of your render at the cost of performance. Now I will launch a render with that just to see how long it takes. And there you go, adaptive sampling took 3 minutes and 14 to produce this render. Let's have a look and compare with the previous render. So this previous render was done at 54 seconds. You see the fireflies there, plenty of them. And this one with adaptive sampling on rendered at 3 minutes and 14 seconds. So it seems that if we could push the quality of adaptive sampling high enough in here, we could actually get a good result. However, render time just went from 1 minute to over 3 minutes. So we are seeing a render now that takes 3 times as long and still doesn't get rid of all the fireflies. While I think that I could get rid of the fireflies by incrementing the max camera anti-alias in the adaptive sampling, I think this is probably not a viable solution for me. Remember the scope is to render a frame sequence for an animated project and we just need the project to look nice, we don't need to make it look super awesome in terms of rendering. So while adaptive sampling is possibly a solution, it seems to me it's a bit expensive. A solution which is offered by Arnold documentation is clamping. If we open up the clamping 
clamping section of Arnold, you see there is a dedicated indirect clamp value. It's worth noticing that by default the indirect clamp value is already active and set to 10. Sometimes the component of the render that is generating noise and fireflies is indeed the indirect component. How can we quickly troubleshoot that? We go over to the AOV section of your render settings in Arnold and we scroll down the available AOVs and we enable the diffuse indirect. You just have to click on it and click on the arrows pointing to the right hand side of the camera and the AOV is open. Let's also include the diffuse direct. Now to see that AOV in action, let's go under Arnold, open Arnold render view and hit play. In the top left corner of the Arnold render view, you will find a drop down menu, which is by default set to beauty. If you click on it, you can expand it and see the AOVs. Please notice diffuse direct is there and you see that the diffuse direct is actually quite okay. Well, there is noise in the shadows, that's okay. But apart from that, there are no fireflies in there. If I click on diffuse indirect instead, the story is different. You see how many fireflies we get in here. So the problem is indeed in the indirect section of the render. All these AOVs, they not only help us while compositing the shot, but they also make it easier to diagnose the problem. So now that we discover that the problem seems to be in the indirect component of the render, let's go down to the Arnold renderer settings and let's try to do what the documentation suggests, which is to lower the indirect clamp value. So I will lower first to five, just to see what's the effect it has. And you see the render time has gone down to 34 seconds with clamping, still loads of fireflies in here. Then I want to check with the previous render, which was three minutes and 14 seconds. So you see we get more fireflies than those we got with adaptive sampling, and they're vaguely less bright than the first render we made, vaguely. So a value of five in clamping doesn't seem to make much difference. With the clamping set to two, you see that we get considerably less fireflies than before, less intense. The render still takes about 33 seconds. So so not too bad. Now one thing you need to know is that by clamping the values in here, you're actually clamping the color range of your render. So if you plan to do aggressive color correction on it, you might get some limitations there. But nevertheless, these fireflies are still here. So we'll clamp down to dot five. And you see we have even less fireflies. So I'm pretty sure I could lower the clamp value to 0 0.05. We get practically no fireflies and a render time that is still at around 32 seconds. So not bad at all. There is still noise in the scene. However, if I increase the exposure of the render, you will notice that this is fairly noisy. And this is something you could fix possibly by increasing the samples of the light or by increasing the diffuse samples in the Arnold render or even possibly by enabling adaptive sampling. We will look into this noise later on. Right now I'm very curious to see if there's an alternative to clamping the values there. So we know for a fact that the problem arises in the indirect component of the light. So I want to see if maybe there's a way to tackle this issue from another angle. And what I'm thinking of right now is maybe to set the indirect clamp value back to 10. So the default we found it at. Go into the lighter light. So the point light, which I mentioned, could have maybe given us some problems and it's definitely the source of our problems, in fact. And in the attribute editor for this light, I want to go under the Arnold section and scroll down until I see visibility. And there I want to set the indirect visibility to zero. Now in practice, this will affect the indirect component on the of the light and you will see that we will lose some color range. So I will launch a new render. And the result is pretty interesting, if you ask me, for a render time at 36 seconds, we have no fireflies whatsoever on the face of the girl or anywhere else in fact without having to clamp the values in the renderer. So this is with the light without any indirect component and this is with an indirect component. The lighting that we have with the indirect component up here is a lot softer if you think of it and even the shadows are less dark if you especially if you track the nose shadow in here, you can see that there is also this subtle light coming from underneath the chin. But in practice, all these nice subtleties of the render come at a price and you see price is noise. Whereas in the other render, we have considerably less noise. We have to take a decision. When is our render good enough? If we are doing a render just to make our animation look a bit nicer, then maybe we can lose some color range in there and still get a decent render, no noise in there. Since we are bound to use Arnold, this is already a good solution. In my opinion, the most reasonable approach to this issue would be not to use indirect lighting for the offending light and call it a day. This way we would not need to increase the sampling too much and we will get quick renders out of the box at the cost of color range. A way to make these renders even more efficient would be to consider the fact that the camera isn't moving, you see the animation is 
made with a static camera and put the character on its own render layer separated for the environment so that you could tweak the render settings based on the render layer you're on and get the best settings for the environment and the best settings for the character so that your render time would be a lot faster. Following this approach of splitting the character, the static environment and the dynamic environment on different layers, I can give each layer different render settings and I get virtually noise-free pictures in Arnold. So with one minute per frame at 960 by 540, I get a pretty good result with the additional advantage that I can separate lighting passes. So you see, I can control individually the dynamic lighting and the static lighting. I can individually control the static background and the dynamic background. So to conclude, I think there is a good trade-off in this case between the quality of the final render and the speed at which this happens. And that's it for now. I hope that thanks to these videos, you will be able to render your animation in a bit quicker way than otherwise if you are stuck with Arnold in Maya. Have fun.